Hi, in this video I will show you how to make the latest OpenHab edition work on your Synology NAS. Welcome to my YouTube channel Green-Eyed Explorer, where I explore further and beyond about tweaks, hacks, electronics and house repairs. Let's start. First visit the OpenHab GitHub pages where you will find the SPK installation file we will need. The link is in the description below. Scroll down the page and visit the releases link. The latest prepared release is 2.4 here. Go and download SPK file to your computer. It is the Synology NAS installation file we will edit. I will use Toggle Commander to show you how to do the steps very fast. Just press Enter to go into this zip file. If you press F3, you can see it contains installation info. Now press F4 to edit it. Switch to your browser. This page contains the latest pre-compiled distributions. Find this link below too. The newest release is 2.50M6. We will need the zip file link and name. Now change the version number in the editor. Edit the distributor. Enter my name as you are thankful for this tutorial. You may change log info too. Now save the file. Click yes for the total commander to repack the changed file. Now we will go into scripts folder. Installer.sh is the file we need. Edit it. We will change the download path. Switch back to your browser and copy the link. Mind that you do not include the last forward slash. Copy text. Switch back to the editor and paste by Ctrl plus V key. Now change the zip file name too. Mark Ctrl plus C Ctrl plus V. Now mark only the name and repeat Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Save the file. Click yes to repack. Now let's visit the package.tgc file. Edit zwave file. This step is only necessary if you use the USB to serial converters in OpenHack. Why? Some NASes don't have ACM COM port names. Mine has COM name. Repeat the last line for every adapter you have. Now save and repack. Commander will ask you several times. Click yes. At the end we will only have to rename the SPK file. If you want, you can find the file I am making here on my GitHub pages. Upgrading from old OpenHab. If you have a previous installation, first make a copy of the folder. I have made mine. The folder is old OpenHab. Uninstall the OpenHab. Delete the original OpenHab folder if it still exists. Open the package center in your NAS operating system. Click Manual Install. Find the file we have just made and proceed with the installation. It has no certificate, just click Yes. Agree to the terms and proceed. This is the path I use. Mind that we have to make subfolders. Open File Station. Under Public Folder create all three requested folders. Close. Next. 
Here you can change ports. I use USB to serial converters, so I will check Z-Wave. If this is your first installation, leave the Run After Installation checkbox checked. Finish by clicking Apply. If this is an upgrade, you do not want to run the application just yet. We will copy all configuration files over. Now wait for the installation to finish. In between, I sense you feel you see the future of this channel, so I ask of you to click the like button, comment your gratitude below and subscribe to my channel. You might feel the urge to donate some greens via PayPal to me for my coffee. I admit, coffee stimulates my brain waves. Don't hesitate and find the PayPal link below while it lasts. And we are back. It is finished. See how it looks like when we have a new version. Copy old OpenHab files. Here is the clip where I show which files to copy from old OpenHab installation. These are the files I have manually made. They are not created via Paper UI user interface. We will copy Paper UI settings after this clip. I am marking files via insert key and copying them via F5 key. Basically, I copy all officially unsupported bindings, web files, images, items, things, rules, sitemaps, transformation files, persistence and other settings. You might even change some logging settings. Old paper UI settings. Paper UI settings are located under user data slash JSON DB folder. It is all documented on documentation pages of OpenHab. On the left you can see the new copy and on the right side my old settings. You might make a copy of default settings before overwriting them. Delete them and copy over old settings. Now let's return back to our NAS. I will start the open hab and fast forward a bit. The URL is at the bottom. I will click it and show you that the new version with all the old settings work. Paper UI works and so does the basic UI. Lights work, front camera works, Shutters work, Alexa works, air conditioning works. So, if you haven't forgotten, now it's the time to click the like button, share the video with your friends, comment below, subscribe to my channel and buy me a coffee. See you next time!